Hmm. Well, there was a lot of a lot of rain last night, wasn't there? It poured last night. It did. I know it did. And the river is very, very high. And uh, just yesterday, we could have stood down there and stood on the stood on the side of the stream, side of the river. And uh, now. Uh, where we where we could have stood yesterday is is four foot under water and the river's swollen because of the rain last night we can see that and see it all around us and today uh, it's always a there's always a i always think there's a, a different kind of light after it rains kind of softer light everything everything looks slightly different and uh, the color of the color of light changes throughout the day so you have the morning light and then you have the golden time in the evening and the way the the sun's light bounces off things and lets you see i was thinking about that sense that god has given us of sight what a what a remarkable gift it is to be able to to see god's creation to see darkness, to see light, to see colours, to see shape, uh, it's absolutely, absolutely amazing. And uh, I think of all the, all the gifts that God has given, to lose sight of those senses that God has given, I think I'd find that hard. Um, I'd find it hard to lose, to lose sight. And uh, I really feel for people who do lose sight. I was uh, reading a psalm, and the psalm uh, says this. It's a uh, psalm, Psalm 66. Come and see what God has done, how awesome his works on man's behalf. He turned the sea into dry land. They passed through the waters on foot. Come, let us rejoice in him. He rules forever by his power. His eyes watch the nations. Let not the rebellious rise up against him. And in that psalm, uh, the psalmist is saying, you know, there's, there's something uh, that we see. And when we look, if we look with the right kind of eyes, we see how God has worked on people's behalfs. And it's a challenge for us to uh, follow and to obey and to trust and to speak about the living God. And so we're not following a phantom, we're following a living, moving, active, powerful God. And so we see, but it's not just to physically see, it's also to perceive, to understand. So in the Bible, sight is used to describe a visual thing, but also to describe an understanding. We understand, and there's a seeing that is an understanding, a perception. And uh, there's a statement that in the Bible where Jesus says seeing they do not see and hearing they do not hear well God needs to give us this sight physical and he needs to give us this sight spiritual so that we may walk with him and follow him and if we ask him he will do so and we will see not just the beauties of nature we will also see the power and majesty and beauties of God and we'll see the actions of God on our behalf let's pray more that we will see God at work and understand it. God is at work everywhere, but seeing we often do not see and hearing we often do not hear and we can be caught up in the thoughts and attitudes of this world who do not see truly and do not hear. Let's pray. God, open my eyes. Open my eyes that I may see you and your works and see your glory so that I may walk with you and trust you. Well, for me and my mate, have a good day. God bless you and keep you. Cause his face to shine upon you and give you peace.